Hello everyone, welcome to lesson number 21. This is grade 8 mathematics. Alright, uh, before you look at today's work, I would like to take you back on the last video's work. So I hope you have found the square root of 36 and the cube root of 512 without using a calculator. Alright, so I'm still waiting for your answers. Please take a picture and send on WhatsApp so I can confirm if your work is correct or you need to do some corrections. Now, talking about homework, I would like to talk to thank these three learners, Abna Ausiku, Queen Shea, and Christofina Magongo for always, always doing their work. For every video that I've produced, they will do their work, take a picture and share with me. Thank you so much, uh, Abna, Queen, and Christofina for not allowing uh, COVID to defeat you. I know they're learners that are watching my video and sometimes they don't understand or they don't have data to watch all the videos but you guys are always watching the videos and keep it up so don't just concentrate on mathematics uh concentrate on um, mathematics and physical science you should also concentrate on other subjects all right so that when you should we return back to school you will be not be left behind thank you for always doing your work and continue doing so and please uh, motivate the others to do the same all right now in today's lesson we are going to do something that you probably have enjoyed in primary school okay we're going to talk about simplifying common fractions so when you simplify a common fraction you should use something called the highest common factor do you still remember the highest common factor all right remember i think in video number two three four five we have found uh, we have learned how to find the, the highest common factor of up to three numbers okay so now we are going to put that concept in use all right so let's say you are given a fraction so what you need to do you divide both the numerator and the denominator by the same highest common factor all right so it is very very important that you identify or find the highest common factor of the two numbers in the fraction all right so and also in the exam or in the test you'll be told to simplify what does it mean to simplify so you are given a fraction and then the instruction will be simplify this fraction so it simply means you must write that fraction in simplest form and how do you write it in simplest form you must divide both the numerator and the denominator with that highest common factor all right this example number one here we are given to simplify 12 over 18 all right now um on page number four for the learners that have the study guide so the highest common factor of 12 and 6 and 18 sorry so the highest common factor of 12 and 18 is 6 all right so meaning that 6 is the highest common factor of 12 and 18 so what do we need to do we divide 12 and 18 by the same number so 12 divided by 6 we get a 2 18 divided by 6 we get a 3 so 2 over 3 this fraction this little fraction now 2 over 3 is the simplest form of 12 over 18 so we also find out that these two fractions 18 over 2 i mean 12 over 18 and 2 over 3 are what we call equivalent fractions okay so you probably have done this in grade 6 and 7 okay so your job when when you're given something like this make sure that you find the highest common factor of the two numbers in that fraction and then once you do that you should now divide each number the numerator and the denominator by that same number okay so now 2 over 3 is in simplest form why is it in simplest form because there's no other number apart from one that can divide 2 and 3 all right Okay, so let me see if you have picked up something. So what I want you to do, I want you to simplify these two fractions, 21 over 81, and the other one is 25 over 100. So very, very important to make sure that you identify the highest common factor. Otherwise, you are going to take more time. Okay. Um, and by the way, you can also do this on your calculator. All right so if you have a scientific calculator you can do it on the calculator once and for all without um wasting any time in case it pops up in paper 
two where you are supposed to use a calculator but if you, but if it pops up in paper one where you are not supposed to use a calculator it is a must that you find the highest common factor all right uh thank you for watching and i'll be waiting for your answers and see you in the next video bye bye